Alice here and welcome back to my channel and I can't even pick up this box to show you what's in it because it is like strewn, strewn, however you say it, all over this couch next to me. But right now we are about to unbox my Stitch Fix. I think this is number four, maybe four or five. And last month and even maybe the month before that was kind of a flop a little bit. This one, girl, I am telling you, they like listen to me. I'm so freaking excited. First things first, in your Stitch Fix box, every single month you get a note with prices and then you get a note from your stylist saying, hey, we do read what you write us in your notes and we listen to you and, you know, here's what we picked for you and here's how we think you can style it. I think these are so helpful because you may not think something in your box would work for you and then you see like a cute way to style it and you're like, oh, hey girl. We won't read this note because... I don't really listen to other people's notes when they read them when I'm watching videos, so we'll skip that part. I have prices here, we'll go over these as we look at the items, but I do wanna mention before we get into this video, Stitch Fix is $20 a month for a styling fee. So basically you pay the $20 at the beginning of the month, I think it comes out actually on the first of every single month out of my checking account, and then around the 10th, I guess you can choose sooner if you wanted to, but mine's once a month. So around the 10th, 9th of the month, I'll get an email that's like, hey, your fix is shipped. So they ship you five items, four or five items, based on your style profile, your Pinterest page, notes you leave your stylist, and basically you say, hey, this is what I like, this is what I don't like. They compile all these things in a box, and then they send it to you. So you open the box, you try everything on. If you like everything, you keep it, and then they charge your account. You like nothing, you send it back in like a pre-packaged slip that they send you so you're not out any more money, just the $20 styling fee. I like Stitch Fix. They just started doing plus size earlier this year and I waited for that day for years because I used to watch other YouTubers who were straight sizes unbox Stitch Fix and they had such cute items but they didn't offer plus size. I feel like I'm talking really fast. I'm so excited. The point to all of that was if you're interested in Stitch Fix, I will leave a link down below. Click on it, check it out, create a profile. It's all free to create and to browse and tell a stylist what you want. You're not charged until you actually schedule a fix, which is what they call it, Stitch Fix. Get my drift? Okay. I'll admit also that I did peek at what was coming before it actually came in the mail. Whenever they ship your fix, you get a tracking number in an email. Well, they've already shipped everything, so they know what's coming in your box, so you have the option to check out even though you haven't received the items yet so when you check out you can see what's in your box sad little note if you didn't know that you're welcome so that's what i did and i was 100 percent excited for everything in this box these jeans though let's talk about these first these i've never owned a pair of boyfriend jeans so i was kind of like uh do i really want like baggy jeans i feel like they kind of make my frame look a little bit larger but y'all I'm telling y'all, these jeans are like soft jean material. The color is way more blue on camera than it is in person. It's got a little bit of distressing here, cuffed at the bottom. These are so comfortable. Like I was so surprised when I put them on. They sent them in a size 20W. This is from the brand Cut From The Cloth. And I do think that I could go a size smaller, but then I kind of think, does that defeat the purpose of them being a little baggy? I mean, they are loose in the waist, but I kind of like them loose. Like maybe you could wear like a cute little, not crop top because that ain't my style, but you know, like a shorter top because the jeans aren't like cutting you at the waist and giving you like extra when you don't want no extra. So I love these. Now these are, like I said, from the brand Cut From The Cloth. They're in a size 20W and they're $78. We'll talk about those later on. All right. Next thing I want to talk about is this cardigan. This is a navy thinner material cardigan. I got a cardigan in my last fix. It was a maroon or burgundy color and I liked it but I just purchased a beige one and so I didn't really need another one but that was a thicker material. This one is thinner so it's not like it's going to give you any warmth. It reminds me of one like if you work in an office that's a little bit cooler but not too cold. You take this just for a little bit of extra so that you're a little warm but not too warm. This one's also coming off a little more blue in camera. It's definitely navy. This is from the brand 41 Hawthorne. It's the Abriana long sleeve knit cardigan in a size 2X. The color is navy and it's $38. Now I tried this on initially with the jeans and just a white top. But then something else came in the box and I kind of wanted to pair them together. So let's go ahead and talk about this. This dress, y'all, look at the colors. And like the cut is so good for me. I feel like it gives you a little bit of peep in the front. 
It cinches at the waist with this elastic band. It's the perfect length. It's a burgundy color with these like yellow fall colored flowers on them. This is beautiful. Now, I took a couple different videos of this. One with my camera, one with my phone, and then one in different lighting because I felt like you couldn't really see in the first two the true color of this dress and I wanted to show y'all what it really looks like. So, I love this dress. It's beautiful. And I thought, how cute would that be paired with this navy cardigan? Like when it is cooler outside and you wanted to wear it with some flats. Where I live doesn't get super cold. I mean, the lowest we probably get for one month out of the year, maybe two, is like 40s, maybe 30s. So this would be okay to wear where I live. This dress with the cardigan and maybe some flats or little booties. I loved it. I thought it was so adorable. I think the style is great. I think the fit is great. This is a burgundy dress size 2X. The brand is 41 Hawthorne. It's called the Evander dress and it's $68. Now with that being said, as much as I do love this dress, I just bought this dress like from that Rosie Days boutique. I did a try on haul and it's like a more velour material. It's a little bit warmer. It's got these quarter length sleeves, sometimes even long sleeve, depending on how tall you are. It's a little bit short for my liking, but this to me is a more fall winter dress because the material is just thicker. This one though could be for spring. It could be for fall. It could be for summer but I feel like they're super similar. So I don't know if I need two of the same dress. And I believe this one from Rosie Days was probably $38. This one, what did I say? $68? I don't know, they're so similar. Last clothing item I wanna talk about is this navy and white striped sweater. It has this like, what do you call this? I guess like lace cut out detail on the shoulder. I like it. I do think that it fits a little bit snug on me. Also, I'm not so sure if the horizontal stripes are flattering for me. I think that it kind of accentuated my midsection versus bringing it in. I think the material is okay. I will say out of all these items, everything is made really well. So I don't feel like anything is cheap or the quality feels cheap. I think everything matches the price that they list for things. I do like this, but I'm not so sure that this is my style. I think that, I'm not sure. I think that the stripes are just, they're not really doing it for me. Okay, so this is a Crescent Rana Cotton Blend Pullover in a size 2X. The color says navy and it's $48. So, I'm not sure. I think this is gonna be going back. Now the last thing I wanna talk about, I was so excited, like, it's funny because me and I don't even think maybe my husband talked about I wanted some of those mule shoes like not long ago at all. And then I get my notification that my, you know, Stitch Fix has shipped and on there are these shoes. Like they're sort of like mules with a little bit of a wedge. I'm not sure if you can see that detail. They're a beige color. This, okay, in theory, these are great. They also came in this really pretty bag. Like look how cute. Like a little Stitch Fix shoe bag. However, it's knotted and I can't get it unknotted. That's besides the point. Okay, so on my app and in theory, I loved these. They're in a size nine and a half. I think the color is great. I think the style is great. I don't know though, when I put them on, I think that the wedge is a little bit too small for me. You'll see what I'm talking about in the video. I mean, I don't know. I think they're great material. They feel great. I love them in theory, but they just didn't really do it for me. These are the Mia Augustina Stitch Mule Wedge in a size 9.5. The color is beige, and these are $69. So in theory, like I said, I love them, but I think it's a little bit of a miss. I think they're so close. My stylist is so close to getting it right, but it's a miss. So if you're not familiar with Stitch Fix, this is how it works. They give you a price sheet and list every individual price and then the total at the bottom. So Everything totaled, if I were to keep it all, is $301. Now, Stitch Fix says, hey, you want all five of these things, we'll give you 25% off. That takes away $75.25. Also, any item you buy, it doesn't have to be all five things, it can be one thing. They deduct that $20 styling fee. So minus that, plus a few credits I had on my account, I can get everything, all five items, for $180.75. Now I think that's a great deal for everything because like I said, the quality is great, they're good pieces, but 
I don't like everything, so I don't need to keep everything just to make it a little bit cheaper. I would keep, however, the jeans. 100%, I love those jeans. Let's see, they were $78 minus my credits. Let's see how much I'd end up paying for these jeans. If I kept them today, this is how much they would charge me. $33 for those jeans. Do I think they're worth $33? Yeah. And as much as I really love that dress, I kind of feel like I've already bought one recently that I haven't even worn yet, and I need to like dial it back. Like, how many dresses do I really need? I don't go out that often. I work every day, and I don't dress up for work, like my 9 to 5 job. And on the weekends, like when we do date night and stuff, I like to dress a little sexier. So I kind of feel like I don't need that dress. While I do love it, and it's beautiful, how much was it? That dress was $68. So if I got the dress and the jeans, let's see what the total would be. The total would be $101 for jeans and a dress. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to send everything back, but I'm keeping the jeans. They also give you the option if you wanted to exchange something for a different size, you can do that as well. But I think I'm going to keep the jeans as is, the size that they sent me, because number one, they're meant to be loose. They're boyfriend jeans, and I need a different style. So I'm keeping the size they sent me. Also, I feel like once you wash them, they'll probably shrink a little bit, and then they'll probably be perfect. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, most jeans do shrink, right? Right? All right, so I guess that's a wrap on this video. I'm keeping the jeans. I say it was successful. Chances are you're not going to like every single thing they send you in a box. My first box was an exception because... I bought everything, but since then I've kind of bought a piece here and there, and I think that jeans are a great staple. You can wear them with sandals, like I said, because it doesn't really get that cold here. But I also think you could pop on some little boots and wear them, and they'd be really cute too. So I really do think my stylist, Amanda, thank you Amanda, this month, I really do think she did a great job, and the pieces are great. I'm happy. I don't really have anything else to say. So yeah, that's a wrap on this video. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.